Hi, this is Professor Beck, and welcome to a CIS 117 recording. And in this recording, what we're going to talk about is uh, a new method for um, accessing a uh, Windows computer running SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio, even if you do not have access to your own Windows computer. So if you were running a Mac or a Chromebook or a Linux uh, computer, or uh, perhaps if you are uh, using a Windows computer but it doesn't belong to you, it's your employers or friends, and you're not permitted to install software on it, uh, then this is a way that you can inexpensively or perhaps at no cost um, uh, get access to everything you'll need to do our work for the CIS 117 class. So the way this is going to work is I have already created under a uh, cloud service, the Amazon Web Services Cloud, the AWS Cloud, a machine image of a computer, a virtual computer that I configured that was a Windows server. Uh, that I installed SQL Server Express and Management Studio onto, and I ran the scripts to install the databases um, and create them and populate the tables that we will be using this term. And so uh, I have marked that machine image as a public machine image so that you can search and find it for your, your own Amazon account and then um, you know copy that image, spin it up, and then you will be able to log on to it remotely using uh, RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol, which is the same uh, protocol that's used on the Remote Desktop Client that is built into Windows and uh, is also on most uh, Mac operating systems. And interestingly, um, RDP is also available for Android and iOS devices and Linux devices. So um, you can uh, conceivably even uh, manage your um, SQL Server database and do your homework right from a tablet or smartphone if, if you wanted to do so. Um, might not be the easiest or most convenient way to do it, but boy, you sure could. So ain't technology wonderful. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and log on to my account in the um, AWS console, and you can sign up for a free tier account. And uh, I do regret that a free tier account, you still have to provide a credit card, but as long as you stay under the utilization uh, levels, uh, then you get 12 months of uh, free AWS service. Um, now, if you go above those service levels, uh, you're going to incur some costs, and uh, so you want to be careful about just uh, willy-nilly turning things on and experimenting with, with allocating storage or bringing up servers if you forget and leave them running, because um, that's like you know, turning the meter on and leaving the meter running or leaving the hose running, you're going to build for that water, build for that, that electrical power. In this case, you're going to be built for that cloud usage. Um, but as long as you stay um, under that, and you should be able with the uh, image I've built uh, this machine on, which is a, uh, a micro T2 instance image uh, um, Windows server, it shouldn't cost you anything. I would still recommend that you be uh, conservative with it. So um, you might want to, after you've done your exercises, go ahead and uh, you don't want to terminate the instance, but you want to go ahead and, and uh, uh, spin it down, suspend the, the image so that it's not um, consuming compute power when you're not using it. And that should help to make sure that you stay um, under uh, the cost threshold that would uh, uh, cause you to incur some actual charges. But again, um, the caution here is uh, it's your account, you're responsible for it, so um, I can't promise that uh, what you do won't incur charges. You should always double check that with uh, Amazon and take a look at your billing frequently. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, log in here. And this is my uh, Yahoo uh, email account that I've logged in with. So this is not the uh, instructor's account that I used to create the AM AMI image. So I'm coming in just as if I'm a student. And there are quite a number of different options here under AWS um, for storage and appliances and uh, network configurations, all kinds of wonderful things you can do in the, cr the cloud. What we're interested here too is the Elastic Computing 2 platform, the EC2 platform. And so I'm going to select EC2. And I'm gonna come down here to images and I'm gonna look for a machine image and AMI. And looking at my notes, slide those over so you can see them. I see that the uh, both the name and the AMI name is SBCC-CIS117. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to search by AMI name. 
SBCC-CIS117. And there it is. And now that I have that, and that image comes up selected, one of the actions that I have is to launch it. So I'll go ahead and click launch. And I'll pick a T2 micro free tier eligible, which is what that should be. And go ahead and uh, uh, review and launch that. So I'm going to launch a copy of SBCC CIS 117. T2 micro, one CPU, one gig of, of, of memory. So it's a pretty tiny machine, but certainly uh, big enough and powerful enough for one SQL server with one person running it on the size of the databases that we're going to be working with. And best of all, it's uh, the price is right. And so we'll go ahead and uh, launch that. And uh, Let's see, for you guys, what would you like to do with the key pair? Let's create a new key pair. That way I don't have to share one out. And uh, um, uh, I'm just gonna call this uh, student CIS 117 key pair. And let's go ahead and I'll save that someplace where I can find it later. And I've got uh, a folder over here that I keep for my AWS stuff. And that'll be fine for now. Let's go ahead and launch the instance. The instance is now launching and this can take a few minutes because what it's going to do, it's going to allocate uh, 30 gigabytes of storage and uh, a virtual uh, processor for you. Basically load a whole uh, copy of that uh, virtual machine image and uh, get it uh, running for you. So we're going to wait now while that, uh, that finishes up. What we can do is if we go back over into um, AWS, into the EC2, and take a look at my running instances, we can check the status of that. And uh, it is, currently initializing. So we'll need to wait until it finishes the status checks and rolls over to having completed.